And what's your name? Sharon Galloway. Oh, where are you from? Anderson. You here to have a good time? I'm here to party. All right. Are uh, you going to stay through the whole concert, Nancy? Almost $60, you bet I am. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a VIP. VIP. All right, darling. All right. Hey, what's your name? My name is Ellis Burns. Oh, where are you from? Belton, South Carolina. And who are you here to see today? Everybody. All right. All right. What kind of ticket do you buy? VIP, darling. All right. No you, spend six of, you spend six. You spend six. There you go. No, it's no. going to be worth it, darling. Yes, sir. It better be. All right. <laughs> well, I'm going to get my six off somebody. <laughs> I hear you, darling. <laughs> Let me zoom back here and get her now. She's back here in the $40 seats. All right. All right, but you still got a good seat, ain't you, huh? Yes, sir. But these ladies right here, they they got ten more, oh, eight more feet in front of them, and they had to pay $20 more. 20 more dollars. $20, yeah, they had to pay, what? $60. And you're going to get your money's worth. Right, there you go. Good to see you there. You ready to have a good time? Yes, sir. All right, what's your name? What's your name? Sherelle. Are you from Anderson? Yes, sir. All right, good to see y'all. Good to see you, too. Hey, where y'all ladies from? Greenwood, South Carolina. Oh, okay. And uh, what's, your, what's your name? Sweet Lady J. Oh, you look like a sweet lady. Hey, what's your name? Tara. Tara. Okay. Good to see y'all. Y'all gonna have a good time today? Oh, yeah. I plan on. All right. I like that umbrella. All right now. Who y'all come to see mainly? I come to see Tucker! Yay! All right. Hey, what's your name, ma'am? Henry Are you from? Where are you from? Anderson. All uh, right, you here to have a good time today? Sure is, a wonderful time. All right, good to see you. And then what's your name, ma'am? Janet. I'm from Anderson, South Carolina. All right, you here to have a good time too, right? Sure is. It's a little hot though, ain't it? It sure is. But it's gonna cool off a little bit. And what's your name now? My name is Mrs. Kathleen Oliver, better known as Cat Tate, originally from Anderson, South Carolina. All right, thank All you for coming. Right. And uh, let's see, hey, you want to be on YouTube? Hello? She don't want to be on YouTube. All right. All right. Go on down the line. All right, hold on for Okay, I'm going to put you in the mix. <laughs> All right. Hey, ladies. Hey. All right. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, gentlemen. I know All right.
y'all know it's hot out here. There they go. Hey, Keena. And uh, some of the people from Greenwood that told me they used to follow me back in the day. <laughs> Girlfriend from Greenwood said, Frank and Jay, you still got a big mouth. I said, but that ain't the biggest part, baby. Da -da 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 -da. Ladies, dance. All right. 
Simpsonville in the house, man. Got Simpsonville in the house? Yeah. All right. From all over the Carolina. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know we got some Georgia peaches in the house. We got the Georgia Bulldogs. How you know the peaches, Jay? See, I can't answer that question right now. <laughs> Let him get his eat on. That's so mannish and nasty. 
How many of y'all wanna get y'all eat on? Oh shit, they got me this little man hotel around the corner. I'm in room two. I'm just playing. I knew we was in trouble when they gave me a real key for the room, like a regular key. What kind of shit is this, man? Are y'all giving up all the old ass hosts they got in here? Every host they got on the show is over 70 years old. Who hired these niggas? AARP? What is this? Let's get some young people on the microphone and know what they doing. Cause I was about to kick them two old niggas off by this, so don't put them back up here no more. And then we had my man coming here with that, uh, that Hamrick's outfit on, messing up my introduction. But thank you, brother. I don't disrespect my elders. But I will knock that cane out from under your ass later on, make your ass trip. Are y'all ready to have a good time tonight, Anderson? Somebody make some noise. Anderson, South Carolina, I'm a music lover to my heart. I love old school R&B. Who loves old school R&B like I do? I ain't talking about that regular old, I'm talking about that real old school. I'm talking about some Marvin Gaye, yeah. some Luther Vandross, yeah. a little Anita, a definitely set the party up right. I'm talking about old as this nigga with this red hat on. That's the kind of R&B I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He got that. <laughs> you all right with me? I seen that same shirt the City Trend for four dollars. I let it go. And you went behind me and picked one oh, like that right there. That looks nice. Y'all love that old school music, man. Where we used to understand the words the rappers were saying. Where the rappers could rap and the singers could sing. Now they don't have to do that no more, do they? I was riding around listening to the Migos one day. I don't know why I did that. They had a song called Stir Fry. It sounded good and bad at the same time. It confused me. It came on. They weren't even saying no word. Oh, super. Yeah. Dead for my dogs in the nighttime. That nigga about to take it like pop pop. I'm dependent because I ain't trying to buy. In the kitchen, wrist twist up like a stir fry. Then some dude that couldn't hear that night. Awesome, man. I'm on a sale. I'll be red. Dead for my dogs in the nighttime. Cause I'm used to that good old school music like we used to listen to back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I listen to the same old school rap songs that I listened to back in the day. I was 42 years old when I was working at a call center. I was going through bad stuff in my life. My son friend was my supervisor. This nigga 22. He was my supervisor. Somebody spent the night in my house. I gave this nigga a pair of shoes and his parents got divorced because he was in hard times. But he's my supervisor. Everything going good for him. He got a late model Kia. He riding around and you know got George's polo on and everything good. Little chicks hollering at him. He's straight. I'm mad trying to figure out how to pay all my bills out of ten dollars an hour. I'm robbed Peter to pay Paul so many times. Peter was like, God damn, bro. <laughs> Y'all know how I get sometimes. My supervisor, my 22 year old supervisor, came up to me and said, Hey, I know you've been clocking in a little bit late. If you clock in late again, I'm going to have to write you up. Same dude that spent the night in my house and ate my food. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was disrespectful. So it took me back to the very same rap song I came up on. You know what I'm saying? I looked at him and I said, don't push me because I'm close to the I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes that makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Classic rap lyrics. That's what I'm talking about. But I'm an old school R&B heart to my head, man. I love R&B music to death. You know what I'm saying? The real R&B. I ain't talking about that bullshit with the auto-tunes and all that stuff. I'm talking about real singers. Say, how many of y'all remember a dude named Jeffrey Osborne? Yeah! Come on now. Anderson, South Carolina, man. Show one more time. How many of y'all remember Jeffrey Osborne? Yeah! Jeffrey Osborne was a bad boy, a real singer. Yeah. Jeffrey will put that thing out there and tell you something you don't understand. And you don't question it because the brother could sing. Can anybody tell me what woo 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 is? Can anybody tell me what woo 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 is? Anybody, anybody right here? Anybody over there? Anybody over there? Anybody over there? Anybody, anybody over there? Mess up, team. Anybody back over there? Anybody can ask me woo? Can nobody tell me? Cause he made it up. But when he hit that one part of the song, though, y'all was on it. I can't go on. Can you woo woo woo? Ooh, can you woo woo woo? Can you woo? No, Jeffrey, I can't, cause I don't know what that is. Jeffrey was a bad boy. He sung a song called Stranger. that make no damn sense. But the brother was such a good singer. He said, last night, I loved a stranger. Like the beginning of a fantasy. Now, was it right to love a stranger? Because uh, then nobody took care after me. 
Then the nigga ran out of words. Who na 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 na? Nobody who na 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 na. It was real. Single that could sing. I love single that could sing. That's why I rock with my boy Anthony Hamilton so hard. Anthony Hamilton take you back to the cotton field, make you want to pick okra and cotton, don't he? Jeffrey, I mean, all, I, that boy tell you some of the simplest stuff in the world, don't he? He had a song called We Cool. I was so glad when they got to the chorus, because I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. We don't have to worry about no glory. We can build up on that alone. We don't have to go to the movie. We can just sit at home. Have a little foreplay, baby. Whatever turns you on, if you're, then I, then we're, oh no, 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 what is he talking about? I love that old school singing, man, that's what I'm talking about, that's what I was born on, I was raised on that old school singing. Y'all remember mama and them play that Silent Go Sunday, they turn on that before I let go, the whole house be clean in 15 minutes, mama be to cook the whole meal for everybody. That's right, just like Jesus, she ain't have a, you know, Two fishes in a loaf, and everybody in the family came over me. I'm in Big Mama house. Yeah, yeah they got that cornbread from scratch. Sucking up that pot lick on them collard greens. <laughs> oh, I smell the diabetes in this bitch right now. Diabetes and stretch marks all through this place. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Eating fried chicken and smothered fried pork chops. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. I'm coming from the South. I was raised by old school black people. How many of y'all raised by old school black people? I'm looking across this room. Some of y'all are old school black people. Some of y'all so damn old. Y'all remember when television used to go off? Remember TV went off and had them columns on and they said, Doo. That's what Lenny Williams was talking about. He said, I watched television. The television went off. Young kids don't understand that because nothing goes off now. You know what I'm saying? They keep everything going. That's what's messing this whole generation up. Kids lazy as hell, they lazy in their arms they were for damn, but they thug right. strong as hell, but they play video games and text all the time. We right. did old school stuff, we went outside. We didn't have no elaborate electronic toys, you had, had that, a basketball, you guys might have had a, a baseball or softball, and everybody had that dog, that ball from Dollar Tree or Dollar General with that stem on it that you never could pump the ball up with. Y'all remember that little cheap ass ball? Everybody had a ball like that, we played, we went outside. How many of y'all got kids? How many of you got kids? Yeah, I'm not proud of my kids either. It's all right. They make me sick. But these kids now think they're supposed to have stuff they ain't supposed to have. I tried to be a good parent back in the day, but I gave that shit up. It didn't work. I spent $1,300 on that at Walmart after I got my income tax. They want a PlayStation 4, so I'm balling. Got them everything. Games, controllers, everything. You think them bastards let me win when I play with them? They beat my ass like a slave when I play that game. Now see, I'm looking across this place now because see, y'all look like me. We got started the same way playing video games. Now they got something called a controller. A controller got buttons on the top, front, back, side, and side, in the middle. That's a little bit too much for me. I'm right-handed. I can't do all that. You understand what I'm saying? I came up in an era where the shit was simple. Nigga, we had a joystick. It was a flat black panel with a button on the right hand side. Y'all remember that? How many of y'all start off on that Atari 2600? Come on now. Yes, sir. I see the varicose veins in the middle of your forehead now. I see where the receiving hairlines and the edge is gone. I know y'all just like me in here. How many of y'all thought Pac-Man was going to move faster when we lean with it? That's how we used to do it back then. That's how we got started. And my favorite game all time was that regular Nintendo. You ever play the regular Nintendo? Mario Brothers, you get the World 5, you jump on that one black thing a hundred times, you get a hundred men to go back and beat the game. Y'all remember that? What happened when that Nintendo got hot? That little green, stuff, green screen started blinking, that little red light started blinking on that Nintendo. Everybody did the same thing. Y'all took that car, just turned this bitch sideways. And you chucked it back in there. That was about an extra three hours of game time, wasn't it? I got three boys, I got three boys. I'm so happy when they do anything with their hygiene. My son came in and said, Daddy, I need some deodorant. So like any other responsible parent, I go to Walmart four times a week. I said, son, ride with me to Walmart. We're going to get you some deodorant. This dude, when he picked out some degree and a person, I was proud of him. Even got a two-pack. So I looked at the price of the two-pack. The two-pack was $8.88. Who the hell you think could pay $9 for two-six deodorant? 
Then I thought back to my very first experience with deodorant. Everybody had that same experience. I'm looking at y'all. Y'all looking at me. I know what y'all think. Yeah. You came in the house sometime between six and nine years old and you didn't smell like outdoors no more. Your ass was musty. And your mama who loved you dearly, she looked at you and she said, uh-uh, go upstairs, take a bath. So you came out the bathtub she was waiting on you with a magic jar that was going to change your life for the rest of your life. It was white. Navy blue letters on it. You had a light blue top, navy blue top, red top, or the navy blue top. How many of y'all remember that word? You look on the front, you see the letters T-U-S-S-Y. How many of y'all started out with that Tussie cream deodorant? And the first time you got on the tussie, you couldn't just you couldn't just wear the tussie, put the tussie on. You had to hit the tussie. You remember you had to hit the tussie. You put the tussie on, you had to hold your arm on top of it. Cause it burned for a second, then it started tingling, and it felt real good. Your skin was acclimated. It was used to the tussie. You had comment. Did you hit that tussie, man? I know you hit that tussie. You like you hit that tussie hard. Did you hit that tussie like hey, hey, you hit that tussie like that? You got an animal print. I know you hit that tussie hard. You weren't playing no games with it. That one job tested lasted you for six years, didn't it? That same one until you got to high school. That one job for 80 cents. Now, get it lasts you about a month when you get it now. And you can tell who's wearing the tussie too. Some people are too old to wear the tussie. They already had hit other deodorants. And you'll see it when they be at recess running playing and they had them uh, school uniforms on, them red, navy, blue shirt. They lift their arm up, you see that white streak going out. Oh, you got a tussie. You got a tussie. That's how we used to do it, man. Love it, man. Love it, love it. June 25th, my favorite singer of all time. We celebrate the memorial of his death. Y'all give it up for Michael Joseph Jackson. Please give it up for Michael Joseph Jackson. This dude's dead. They still raking his name through the mud. That's terrible, man. They said Michael Jackson messed with little kids. But I know he didn't mess with little kids. Because they said Michael Jackson was giving the kids wine coolers. Michael Jackson was 50 years old at the time of his death, meaning he was raised by some real old school players. Old school players only hand out brown liquor. Your dirty ass uncle with 14 kids by 15 different women never called you to the side with a flask full of booms for him when your mama wasn't around. He gave you some Hennessy, some Cavassier, some shit to put something on your chest. So I know Michael didn't do that, because if they'd have said Michael gave him some Cavassier or Hennessy, I was like, the nigga did it, he did it, he was guilty. But I love Michael Jackson to death, man. He's the greatest entertainer to ever do this thing. But I was watching CNN when he died. I was raised by old school black people. When somebody died, that's the end of their chapter. We don't say nothing else bad about them. CNN was disrespecting the legacy of Michael Jackson. They said, at the time of his death, Michael Jackson was only 135 pounds and he had tracks in his arms from doing drugs. Okay, if he on drugs, he supposed to have tracks in his arm. I'm cool with that. But what Michael did y'all see that was ever more than 135 pounds? Y'all know Michael was poor as hell? Y'all know he was at Big Mama house on Sunday, she gave him some extra Kool-Aid and butter beans, you know what I'm saying? He was poor, he was skinny. Then they had the nerve to say, Michael Jackson bleached his skin because he didn't want to be black. He was over $400 million in debt. Being in debt is the blackest thing that you can do. If Michael Jackson made the $400 million, $400 million that's an accomplishment. We should be celebrating that. Because I got a cousin that wrote a bad check in Walmart for two flat screens for $600. They locked this bitch up the next Tuesday. You understand what I'm saying? Mike made it to $400 million. That's an accomplishment, man. And I love the stuff Michael Jackson used to do. He used to pull out some amazing stuff just because he was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson went into Egypt, poked his chest out, stole Eddie Murphy, old lady, before his movie started going bad and he had baby with a Spice Girl. You believe that? He spun around turning the gold dust left up out of there. Michael Jackson was a bad mother. And let me tell you what else Michael Jackson did. They were questioning Mike's sexuality. Mike came out with a bad album. The first words in bad was, Your butt is mine. <laughs> Gonna tell you right. They can't question your sexuality, sir. You say your butt is mine to get away with it, sir. I'm telling y'all, Michael Jackson was a bad mofo. I'm telling y'all, sir, could you get this lady right here? Y'all together, could you straight up... Shut down the whole street. Put on some penny loafers, some white karate socks, karate belt, black high water, electric blue shirt, white t-shirt, and tell her the way you feel, 
No, so you couldn't pull that off, sir, because you're not Michael Jackson. Y'all give it up one more time for Michael Joseph Jackson. Y'all all right? Everybody having a good time? Somebody say yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all my kind of people. Let me see how black y'all are. We're going to do a black test. If you black and you proud, make some noise. Yeah. We're going to have a Klan rally right now. Because I remember a time when we didn't worry about color as much as we worry about color now. We watched some great television shows. We would listen to some great music, and we didn't worry about color at the time, did we? How many people back in the day watched different strokes? Now the world don't move to the feet with just one stroke. <laughs> Do you think a white man would really adopt a midget and another little nigga and move him in a penthouse <laughs> with his fine daughter? We didn't worry about that, did we? We watched the television because it was good television show. We watch stuff like Fantasy Island. How many of y'all remember Fantasy Island? Yeah. Oh, they had more mermaids on that show than black people, didn't they? You had a little Filipino man that said, Boss, they're playing, they're playing, they're playing. Show didn't make no sense. We watched it. It was a great television show, right? Yeah, we in South Carolina, right? Are we in South Carolina? Yeah. How many of y'all black ass watch The Dukes of House? <laughs> it's a good old boys. <laughs> Never meaning no harm. He's all you ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they were born. Making a way the only way they know how. Yeehaw. We watched that show, didn't we? They had they had a deputy sheriff. They had a bar. They had a, all this stuff. Uncle Jesse. They had Luke and Duke. Everybody. No black people on this show. They had court and a judge. No black people. You know what I'm saying? We didn't protest. We didn't stand out. We put our fists up, didn't we? And on top of this car that we love so much, matter of fact, how did they drive it generally? Nobody ever had keys to it. They just jumped in and crunk it up, jumped over something. It was amazing, wasn't it? See what I'm saying? On top of this car was Confederate flag. None of us boycotted that show, did we? So take color out of everything y'all do, man. I'm going to prove to y'all. Y'all not as black as y'all think y'all are. Because see, now we can just log on to anything we want to, watch any video from any era we want to. When we was coming up, we had video shows that showed 10 videos at a time. We had to wait till the end of the week to watch some corny ass show called Night Tracks that came on at night. We knew Michael Jackson was number one, but to get to Michael Jackson, we had to watch nine pop, rock, and country videos. We didn't just watch them, we loved them to death. I'm gonna take y'all back down memory lane, show y'all not as black as y'all think y'all are. Go that way, man. I want a man with a. Come on, y'all. I want a lover with it. Look at y'all crackers. <laughs> we watched nine pop rock and country videos. How many of y'all remember this one right here? I can feel it calling in the air tonight. Hold on. Cause I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Sing it y'all. What was he holding on for? Nobody knew. See what I'm saying? I'm finna give y'all. Y'all watch nine pop rock and country videos. You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all met? We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. We're not gonna take it anymore. See, y'all ain't the black and black thought that was, on it. All right. Come on now. Everybody, I was 1987. I was at Hessler Middle School back in Augusta, Georgia, Richmond County. Everybody wanted to be like Mike. Mike was on the Wheaties box. No. I had on Levi jeans, that Coca Cola shirt. Stonewash Levi jeans. I had on some high top Reebok classics rolled up to the top. I didn't want to be like Mike. I wanted to be like this guy right here. Shot to the high, and you're too plain, darling. Sing it now. Play my part, and you play your game, darling. You give love a. Yo, I told y'all y'all wasn't black as y'all thought y'all was. Look at you. It kept going up until the modern era. It kept going. We got up there watching shows like TRL. We still was fascinated with white music. We didn't want to say that. But everybody wanted to put on that white suit, get in the mirror, take them famous steps and say, You are my fire, the one desire, belief. When I say, I want it back. Then a boy band with a boy. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a party. Tell me why. 
We didn't quit there because we had to see who was number one. Was it going to be NSYNC or was it going to be Backstreet Boys? No, it wasn't. Shut up. That I can't take no more It ain't no lie I wanna see you out that door, baby <laughs> That's my jam Five angry white boys from Florida Hitting it like this I loved it to death, man I'ma tell y'all one more joke And I'ma get out of here Y'all are right in South Carolina Oh, man, this is nice here, man Y'all make sure y'all give it up For my man Stevie Jones At 95.7 95.3 95.7 which one? 95.3, okay, now that's somebody else. Huh? Cheap. You got medicine in them glasses. I knew you was gonna say something, I like you. You all right with me. Got all them bangles on and stuff. You cute, what's your name, baby? Anita. Anita, y'all get her for Anita. No, she got about 13 grandkids. Anita. I don't even have a kid. You ain't had no kids? So nobody thought enough of you to get you pregnant? <laughs> Y'all pray for Anita. She needs a man pretty bad. You done ran them off, ran off a whole bunch of dudes like you. Cause you run your mouth too much, you talk too much. But let me thank you, baby. I appreciate you for being here. I love you, my sister. I love you. I'm gonna leave y'all with this last joke and I'm gonna get out of here, man. Like I talked about before, kids say they're supposed to have stuff. They ain't supposed to have my kids. They make me sick. My son told me, he said, Daddy, I need some socks. Like before I told you, I'll be at Walmart four times a week. I got some nice crew socks. Starter socks, regular black crew socks. Ten pair for eight eighty eight. I was so sure about this one that I hit it with the no-look pants. Here you go, son. Boom. I look back. My son was rubbing his forehead. I said, what's wrong, son? He said, Daddy, them ain't the kind of socks I, I wear. So I said, my wife said we gotta start talking to him. Cause I used to, I'm old school. I used to punch him in the chest, get my way, and move on. So I was gonna be diplomatic this day. I said, okay, son, let's go to where you get your socks from. I knew we was in trouble. Because we pulled up at the Augusta Mall. Now me, I shop at discount stores. I don't know, I don't go to the mall no more. I go to Berlin, TJ Ross, Mac. That's a true story. I'm like, why are we here? So we walked inside the mall to this place called Foot Locker. It's full of evil. Everybody dressed like referees and no whistles. My son saw one of his classmates in there. Now, my son has an epidemic condition that's going around where they don't comb their hair. They rub it with a piece of Brillo pad in a circle, and they get up and they walk off, and it's nappy and dry and it's hard. So, my, uh, his friend had the same condition. They gave him to the dap, the hair touch. Sparks came up. I had to duck behind his t shirts and stuff. It was a terrible moment. So, my son came back with a pair of socks that was nice. Socks had Step Curry on the cover. Y'all know Step Curry, right? Little light skin, bush you threes all the time. And Steph Curry was really focused on the socks. He was going up for a three-point. I could see the spalling on the ball. I could see his hazel eyes, his brown eyebrows, his light brown tape line. I could see the mouthpiece in his mouth. Number 30 on the front and the back of his jersey. Curry, under armor on his socks and on his shoes. These socks are so digital, y'all. I looked on the back of the sock. I could see his family in the stands. I could see his mom and his daddy, his wife and his little baby right there in the stand on the socks. I said, this is a bad pair of socks. So my son proceeded to hand me the socks to the socks. Had a price tag on the right corner of me and said it was thirty dollars. I moved my hand back and Steph Curry and his family hit the floor. At that point, I told one of my sons, I said, "Hey son, they made the kind of socks that I buy." So he looked at me. He picked out another pair. There was some Nike Elite socks. It was nice. One for the right foot, one for the left foot. Cushioning, everything, real nice. Had just do it up the back of the sock. I said, "Ooh, that's a bad pair of socks." When they hand those to me, they happen to be $24. So at that time, God works in mysterious ways. Y'all believe that, South Carolina? God works in mysterious ways. I lost control of my own body. The spirit of Martin Luther King took over my body at that time. I said, son, if you look over there across the store, there's a cash register. I don't think I'm going to make it there with you. What we have lying on the floor is $54 worth of socks. That's enough for an entire month of straight talk cell phone service. A combo from a McDonald's with the big drink and big fries. I said, son, my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. And he wasn't wearing no socks like this. I said, son, if you think you should wear these type of garments, I think you should make some elite grades at an elite institution. 
so that you can get an elite job, so that you can finance such sad things. I said, uh, free at last, free at last. If it wasn't for your mama, nigga, I'd still be punching your stupid ass. Hey, y'all, my name is Super Comedian Sincere. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Thank y'all very much. All right, let's give it up for Savage, y'all. Savage. For those who just getting here, this is the Blues Doctor from 89.3 FM, Atlanta, Georgia. DJ, hit that track, man. Getting back to the blues, y'all. Got any blues lovers in the house? Make some noise! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Everybody together now. On three. One, two, three. Make some noise! Drop that thing, DJ Timmy.
You say you ready? Got my coveralls all in a bundle And I just don't know which way to go I wanna love you all night like this Sign still and delivered with a kiss Baby can't do you like me When the king in the zone Ain't nobody going home Got everything is singing my song Cause I really can't do you like me Like me Cause I really can't do you like me Hey, 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 hey Tonight is the night, baby uh, That I'm here tonight uh, Like an old school sugar daddy, baby uh, Taking all of your time For to fix this lady her dream Yeah uh, And then girl is on uh, I want no pot to find your rhythm girl Yeah To your favorite song uh, Hey, I want you to Slow me to Slow All night. One more time, I want you to. So Hey, Casey.